Hi, George here, and I'll be showing you how to add in custom brushes to Affinity Photo. Now, I have this nice picture here, but it has a really boring sky. Normally, I might go in and carefully mask out the whole sky area and change that for something else, but in this case, there's some problems with that. We have this railing over here, real thin lines, and this bush over here, this tree, lots of thin lines, making it almost impossible to mask the sky out. So we need a different approach for this. And an easy one is to use a paintbrush and then just stamp in some clouds. Now over here I have the brushes panel opened up and here's all of our different brush sets. And notice we don't have anything special in here. We have some sprays and splatters and stuff, but mostly just your standard painting and drawing brushes. So we need a specialty brush set for this and that's going to be a cloud brush set. And you can find that online. Let me show you my favorite spot for that. It's right over here at DeviantArt. It's a great site for finding all kinds of interesting artwork. And one thing that a lot of these artists do is put together brush sets. Some of them are for sale, but a lot of them are free. So I just did a search up here for Photoshop brushes right there. And I came up with this set in here. And let's just go ahead and scroll through. There's some interesting things in here, kind of op art things and geometric patterns and stuff. Scroll down a bit further. A lot of photorealistic brushes, but that's a bit beyond what we're going to be looking at here. That's what just a simple cloud. Here's some cloud brushes right over here. Let's take a look at this one. I'm going to right click on this, open that in a new tab, and right down here, right below the big thumbnail, there's a down arrow. Hold your mouse over that and you'll see if it's a free download or not. This one happens to be free. Okay, we'll go ahead, we'll download this. And then I have a folder on my hard drive that is called this Photoshop brushes. And I save my brushes in here. Notice that this is a zip file. I'll have to unzip this. Just choose save. There we go. Let me now bring that folder up. And here we go. This is just floating on top of Affinity Photo right now. And let's find that brush set. And it's right here. That's what we just downloaded. So I'll right click on this. And let's just extract all. Choose extract. And then here's the folder. Let's open this up. And there is that brush set. Notice that the extension here is ABR. Normally the ABR extension is called the Adobe brush file. Affinity Photo calls it the Affinity brush file. That's fine. Same exact thing. So you can use any Adobe Photoshop brush inside of Affinity Photo. Okay, now that we have that, let me show you how you can activate that in the program. Over here to our brushes tab, and there's all of our brushes. And then click on that. Then come down to import brushes right here. And we're inside of the same brushes folder again. Let me just change this to date modified. And there's the one right here. That's the folder. Open this up. There it is. And choose open. And this will then add a new category into our brushes panel. Choose OK. Go to the brushes panel. And there we go, right there. Click on that. And here are the cloud brushes. There are a lot of them in here. Now these show brush strokes. So pay attention to the little icon right there. That's what the cloud shape looks like. OK, now that we have that, notice that these are real large sizes. This is the pixel size. These are very big brushes because we'll be using those as stamps and not as brushes. Now make sure your foreground color up here is white. There you go. And then simply choose a brush. I'll choose one of these larger ones, maybe this one right here. Let's go over to our paintbrush. There we go. And that's not what I want. Let's bring our brush size down. Okay, there you go. And that has square edges. I don't want to have square edges. Let's find something without square edges. I'll try this one. That's looking better. Those brushes are too large for my window right now. So you need to bring the brush size down on that. And give it a moment to reset. If you want to, you can come in and just hover over the name and you can pull that back and forth here and change your brush size that way. Okay, here's a brush. Tap right there. There it goes. There's a brush. Now when you're using brushes like this, these cloud brushes, you don't want to be doing a lot of these because they're all the same. You need to be choosing different brushes. Our size there, 386, is a pretty good size. So let's go up here and try this one. And let's bring the size down about the same thing, 365. Let's see how that looks. And again, this has a flat top and bottom. So I don't want that one. Control Z, let's back out of that. Let's find something else that doesn't have a flat top and bottom to it. Let's try this one here. Okay, there's the brushes there. That's coming in just fine. Now it's coming in on top of the buildings. So to do something like this, I'd want to clean that out. So let's go over here to our layers. And notice that we came in on a new layer up here. And bring our brush in. I'll just tap in here someplace. There we go. Now, since we're on a new layer, I can choose my eraser tool. And I'm just going to erase where the cloud was overlapping onto the building. So we don't have to worry about doing any masking or anything. Just 
take that out like that. There we go. And there's some real nice clouds added into this picture very easily with just using one of these brush stamps. Let's go back over to DeviantArt for a minute. Just to show you how many different brush styles there are in here, not just those stamp brushes. Here's some water things, same idea. So water brushes. Here's stuff for foliage. This is a bit more of a painting technique. You'll find a lot of brushes in here for skin types and things like that and different texture brushes. But you'll also find more interesting stamp brushes as well. Here's one with just some splatter stamps. I tend to like using splatter stamps over inside of Photoshop Elements. Here's a way to get that same kind of functionality here inside of Affinity Photo. Just get one of these brush sets like that. Now, if you want to learn a lot more about how to use Affinity Photo, I do have a course for this. It's an online course. And I'll put a link for that at the top of the description. And it covers everything in the program, all the tools, all the menus, everything. If you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and give me a like. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on that bell icon for notifications. I'm doing new videos all the time. And I'll see you next time.